Hello, this is group B23, and our project is on microwave filters. What is a filter? An electronic circuit that takes a signal as an input and outputs a similar signal. The inputted signal is processed to remove unwanted frequencies, aka noise. The inputted signal may also be processed to quantify wanted frequencies. There are four main types of filters, low pass, high pass, band pass, and band stop. Filter functionalities. Band pass filter selects a required band of frequencies. Band stop filter removes an unwanted band of frequencies. Low pass filter allows frequencies below a certain cutoff frequency to pass. High pass filters allows frequencies above a certain cutoff frequency to pass. Microwave filters have a low insertion loss and a high return loss which essentially means that there is a very minimum amount of signal reflected back out of the input. Hence, most of the signal is absorbed. Physically, microwave filters will usually have small mass, low volume, and high resistance to temperature changes. Microwave filters perform the same functions as electric filters at lower frequencies, but differ in their implementations. In the microwave filter circuit, elements such as transmission lines must be used in place of inductors and capacitors used at lower frequencies. There are two main types of implementations for a microwave filter. One is the large parameter method, and the other is called the insertion loss method. Image parameter method yields a usable filter, however, no clear-cut way to improve the design, hence they do not allow for the specification of a particular frequency response over the complete operating range. Today, most fil microwave filter design is done with the sophisticated CAD packages based on the insertion loss method. The insertion loss method uses network synthesis techniques to design filters with a completely specified frequency response. There are a lot of types of microwave filters, LC filters. One of the most basic types of filters are the LC filters. They comprise of just an inductor and a capacitor and are used to suppress noise that is generated by motors. In drones, they improve the electronic speed control system and also enhance image quality. Cavity filters. They allow the desired band of frequency to pass through and reject the unwanted band of frequency. These filters are used in a telecommunications device called repeaters that receive a signal and retransmit it. Repeaters are used to extend transmissions so that the signal can cover longer distances or be received on the other side of an obstruction. Waveguide filters. Waffle ion filters are a common type of waveguide filters. They are used in high power radars to remove harmonics of transmitters before applying them to the antenna. They are used in the industrial microwave manufacturing process to prevent the escape of microwave radiation from the microwave chamber. Suspended substrate filters. These filters are made using printed circuits. They are used in electronic warfare systems and test equipment applications where broadband performance is critical. Why are microwave filters used? Every microwave system needs filtering for the elimination of unwanted interference and undesired radiation. Industries with these types of systems benefit from microwave filters because of their ability to reflect radiation instead of absorbing it, which would cause overheating. Microwave filters are vital in terrestrial and satellite communication circuits. They offer these types of circuits high out-of-bound rejection and sharp cutoff characteristics. Why use each type of microwave filter? There are many types of microwave filters, each designed differently with benefits, but perform the function of filtering out unwanted signals. Cavity filters, used for commercial and military applications because of its low insertion loss, can be linked together for increased efficiency and can sharply attenuate sharp signals because of its high Q. Coaxial resonator filter. It is the most common and efficient in the low microwave range of frequencies. Most radar systems use this filter for the range it operates most efficiently in compared to others. Suspended substrate filter. Used for high frequencies in test equipment applications and electronic warfare systems. Benefits from being small, good temperature stability, and a high Q. 
Lumped element filter. Beneficial to applications where weight and size are critical. And lastly, the waveguide filter. It has high power handling and a low loss performance. Built while having low passband insertion losses in mind, and a popular waveguide filter is the waffle iron filter shown on the left here. So the article we chose to simulate is an article called Microwave Filters Using Waveguides Filled by Multilayer Dielectric. The link is posted below and in the next few slides I will be talking just a brief description of what we will be hopefully simulating in the next video. What we, we will be simulating is a new structure that was proposed for microwave filters. This new structure utilizes waveguides filled by many dielectric layers. The length of the layers and the relative electric permittivity are usually achieved by using the least mean square method. So a quick introduction to the article. Microwave filters are required in several communication circuits. In addition to utilizing waveguides, Microstrips are also applied for microwave filters. That is all, and thank you so much for listening for our introduction video, and we will catch you next time on the final project video.